once again and uh, in this video we are going to look on how to install uh, Android 7.1.1 onto your Zenfone 2 and uh, the version is ready 551ml so the process is simple I'll uh, tell you explain you about the two methods which are available uh, one is uh, upgrading to 7.1.1 that is the installation of uh, custom ROM uh, resurrection remix onto your device uh, if you are on the marshmallow official build uh, what I would recommend you is uh, downgrade to the official lollipop build and then unlock the bootloader I'll link you a video in the description on how to unlock the bootloader of the Zenfone 2 you need to watch the video and repeat the process after the unlocking of the bootloader in the lollipop stock ROM uh, you need to upgrade your bootloader files to marshmallow now this video starts from the that step where, where we'll upgrade the bootloader files of uh, our Zenfone 2 to Marshmallow and then uh, we'll install the TWRP what you need is a simple file I'll also link you down the download link of the file which we need for uh, doing this process I already downloaded this file so the name of this file is uh, looks like this so for getting started you firstly you need to enter your uh, device to bootloader mode and then connect it to your PC now I'm connecting it to my PC Yeah, I have connected it now and after the connection of the PC this is a zip file so you need to unzip it using any of the software here I am using 7zip in my case so I am extracting that to a folder and after opening this I will open this and then you need to click on this upgrade now just leave that for a while it's an automated command prompt uh, it does all automatically you just need to double click on it and uh, leave that and also note that it also uh, installs a custom recovery that is TWRP onto your device automatically so do not worry if this is uh, repeating like this just leave the device for a while until I say to unplug the USB so let's watch what does that do in the meanwhile let me explain you what is uh, going on currently the bootloader files are being updated to marshmallow and uh, after the TWRP will be installed and after the installation of TWRP the process is simple uh, you need to download the zip file uh, from the link I will uh, give in the description and then place that in your uh, external SD card and after that you need to just flash that using uh, TWRP recovery that simple yeah here you can see I will explain you what's uh, happened here you can see it's unlocking uh, the bootloader is unlocked and now the bootloader files are being uh, upgraded to that of marshmallow and after this the device gets reboot so uh, you are getting all these external commands don't worry just don't disturb and uh, do, do not unplug the mobile until you get this message so here at this point you can see that it's writing recovery that means it is writing TWRP recovery onto your device after the, after you say it's done just press any key to continue hit enter and the box get closed so this is uh, the work till on the PC after the installation you need to go into the recovery mode here and uh, you need to navigate from the volume up and volume down buttons and then hit on the recovery mode so here we are in the bootloader mode on our Zenfone 2 ZD 551ML and uh, from here I will show you the process of uh, flashing the ROM and uh, also the flashing of uh, G apps that is Google apps the process is very simple now uh, I'll guide you from this uh, as I informed before you need to have your uh, ROM zip file and also the G apps zip file placed on your uh, SD card so that you need to flash that using a TWRP recovery For, uh, in order to go to your recovery you need to navigate down using this volume down or volume up button you need to get to the recovery mode and then select that using the power button after selecting that the phone will boot into the re recovery mode that is our TWRP recovery so let's give it a while so that it will boot into the recovery so do not worry when message is shown up like this just leave the mobile as it is for about 5 seconds and it will boot normally as we can see it is uh, booting into the recovery mode just swipe here and when you are at this point you need to first uh, select this wipe option and then go into this uh, advanced wipe 
and then select all everything other than the micro SD card so select everything other than the micro SD card and then wipe by doing this everything uh, everything is wiped now and the device is completely fresh so hit back here hit back again hit back again and uh, now when you are at the main menu you need to select you need to select install from here and then you need to select your storage from here as I have placed my ROM files and all the files in the micro SD card, I am selecting that here. After selecting set OK. Now in my device, I have placed the file in the latest RR Nougat folder. I am selecting that. And as you can see, the above file is the GApps file and the down one is the Marshmallow, uh, sorry, that is a Nougat uh, RR file. I am selecting that. And, uh, I'm swiping that as you can see the ROM is flashing now just leave that for a while do not disturb and do not uh, restart or do anything just leave that until the bar is filled that means uh, the ROM is completely flashed so let's wait for the ROM to be flashed It takes about uh, 2 to 3 minutes and uh, now we can see that the ROM is uh, flashed. Do not worry about those uh, two errors. After the message comes like done, just uh, wipe catchy and dalvik catchy by swiping. And after this is done, go back and go back again. Now if you want the G apps, it is optional. If you want G apps, just uh, flash the G apps also. Select G apps and again swipe to flash as you can see that the gapps is flashing currently again this will uh, take uh, about uh, 2 to 3 minutes uh, for getting installed directly onto your uh, system so leave the device again uh, for uh, about 2 to 3 minutes so that the gapps gets installed The times of flashing the gapps and the ROM file is pretty much same and the other surprising thing is that the file size of the ROM is only about 30 to 450 MB in size but the features are more when compared to stock ROM now as you can see that the process of flashing has come to an end when the message comes like this here you can see when the message comes like done just again wipe catchy and dalvik catchy after that is done just uh, hit on the reboot system and the phone will now reboot into a resurrection remix rom just leave that for a while and uh, let it boot into the rom itself as i mentioned earlier do not worry about that error uh, which you are seeing it's uh, pretty much normal and it's, it is not going to harm your device in any way so yeah, you can see the resurrection mix logo here. Now it is uh, booting into the ROM. So this is all for this video. If you like the video, give a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel for more videos. I will also be making a video on uh, how to revert back to stock ROM. So this is all for this video. See you guys in the next video.